Welcome to the Cosmic Show. Today, you're hosted by me, Cosmic Chimp. And today we have been welcomed by none other than Mr. Echo, the Echoist. The guy who destroyed an episode of Echoes, Mr. Remedith. Is that right? Is that, is that right? Remeth? Uh, Remethep. Remethep. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. But today he's using his mobile, and that's where there's no echo. So, uh, yay me! <laughs> Low fi technology. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if the phone works better than the headset, then why not? It's still mental. Yeah. So, there's something about doing a gift horse. So, anyway, yep. So, tell us a wee bit about yourself. What got you into playing Space Engineers and. Yeah, what got you into building amazing structures? Well, um, I tried to quit, or I quit smoking uh, in January, and then I needed something to do. Uh, and so I had uh, seen Space Engineers, I, I knew about it, um, and I was thinking that, okay, this looks better than Minecraft. Uh, it looks more complicated. Uh, I like space. So that will be a cool, relaxing experience uh, to keep my mind off and of not smoking. Um, I have managed to quit smoking now. Uh, kind of no thanks to space engineers. <laughs> That's a good thing because space engineers really get so addictive so fast. Well, I think so yeah. anyway. Yeah, but it's also at times immensely frustrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get that. That's when you yeah. can you got the off button. Usually you can press. That's I I seem yeah. to just like when I get to the point where like I've had enough, I just press off, and the computer just reboots. Or well, sometimes mm -hmm. I do that with Epic. You know, if I'm just you know I'll be streaming with Epic, I'm like really, and then I blame it on the lag, but I just turn the computer off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well that happens. So um, and I've always been a creative guy. Uh, I like doing stuff. Um. And I really like exploring in kind of everything. Uh, and there's so much to explore and do in Space Engineers. Um, well, if you do it yourself, that is. Uh, there's not that much to actually see um, in the game itself, Vanilla. Yeah, um, see, that's like me. I like to be able to do it with a group of people. Like, yeah. when when I tried it myself, it's just not as exciting for me. I love being able to interact with people whilst I'm playing it. It's like when, um, like, other games I've played, it's like uh, Interstellar Rift. That is an amazing game to work as a crew. It's more crew-based orientated, and I love it, and that's what I'm trying to, like, bring over to SE. I think a lot of people are yeah. trying to do that, bring over the teamwork uh, concept to it, where someday will be mining, someday will be refining somebody will be driving the ship somebody will be <laughs> killing spiders i don't know but at least they all work together yeah that's uh why i made the uh the new world we're not looking at today uh as an rp world where uh, you can just do all that um because yeah things are much more fun when you're actually dealing with uh people nice people that is uh, i have been playing online for quite a few years and yeah people i'm skeptical to them <laughs> online, know, yeah. People, yeah it's a mixed breed so uh but this uh this world to tell a little about it it started with um i played quite a lot of scenarios uh, in space and chess because that's really fun because then i can get to explore what other people have done um and uh, just have fun with that um, so i downloaded a scenario from 2014 called um the swan song yeah uh, and when i booted it up it was completely broken so it didn't work but i got uh, i grabbed uh, a blueprint of the ship you're starting in because it's a luxury liner uh, it has crashed uh, and well you have to survive there that nothing spawned just uh, i think it was just burning spots everywhere right uh, and i loaded it up into a new game this game this world uh and thinking okay i'll uh, do an extreme makeover on it and uh, just refit it uh, so i spent some quite some time uh, just uh repairing and uh tweaking uh that ship uh, sure. and then my girl 
girlfriend mentioned just in an offhand comment uh, a space bar because that is where uh, the joke is uh, where do the astronauts drink and that's the space bar and since I love puns I was thinking okay that's a really good bad pun so and it's space engineers I can actually do you can do so much so let's build a space bar and then that's where you got your bar and um, all those funny jokes and no miners allowed, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that mining bar. That was awesome. But then it's like yeah. it's like you say you do your space bar, but now I did this um, show set, and it's it's so funny just having like a an actual show base set just floating in space <laughs> that I can take to all the different sets. Oh, it's funny. So, yeah. to the public who are watching this, which one is me and which one is Rem? There's two astronauts on the seat. Can any of you figure out who's who? <laughs> if you can figure it out, then high five. Put in the comments which one it is now. Right or left? Anyway, moving on swiftly. It's me! <laughs> I'm a geek. Oh, come on then. Let's go and check out this bar. I mean the base. Yeah, because I built, uh, I before I could build uh, the bar, I had to build the base around it, um, and then I well, it, I really love RP, so I wanted to add some L, uh, RP elements to it. So let's see, uh, and here is the flying pig guarding the space bar. <laughs> That's a flying pig. So, that is a... does it kill people, or what does it do? No, it just flies around. Uh, it's completely... I think there is a Gatling gun inside it, but that's completely not functional. Um, I'm using the, uh, the a script called My Buddy. Right. It just uh, sets, um, sets uh, an object or a drone to, um, to follow the player using sensors. So it's it's just fun to have, and uh, since I have been playing around alone for, uh, for some time, it's really good to have some a bit of company. Yeah. Even though it's kind of a stupid thing. So. Uh, I think it's very yeah, funny. Uh, yeah, I really like it. I really like how it turned out. Um, <laughs> So, oh, yeah, there. where would you like to go first? Do we ch check out all the outside first and then try the your ships and then do the actual base last? Or do I do the other way around? No, sounds good. Uh, the ships aren't that exciting. I can just, uh, let's see, we can here, we can go down to the blue ship here. Well, this looks quite uh, smart. <laughs> well, it's, it's smarter now that I actually uh, have tried it out. Uh, because uh, it's built to be an explorer, right? And land on the moon. Because there's some a, a moon. Uh, there is a moon right over here. Uh, and when I first uh, tested it out, since I'm using the uh, automatic LCD script, uh, yeah. I saw I noticed that it said stop time and align. And I was thinking, okay, um, something is not right there. Uh, and then I <laughs> took an outside view and saw that, oh, I have no braking thrusters. Yeah, I see them. I see, I see you just like literally planted them on, for the, hoping for the best. Yeah, uh, I had to turn uh, 180 and go back slowly. So, let's see. Beep, uh, so, beep. Yeah, that was a walk of shame. Let's see. Uh, and then there's the oxygen farms here. Good yeah, idea. I've never, ever, ever played with these. What? The oxygen, oxygen farms? Farm? Never played with them. Okay, they are uh, not that effective, uh, but yeah, it's like uh, solar cells for oxygen. Solar panels, sir. Do, like, so they don't produce enough air, really? Yeah, they just generate, yeah. Uh, they just generate, um, generate uh, oxygen. Ooh. Uh, and they do it. 
they almost don't use any uh, power, so they're really uh, efficient uh, power-wise. Right, okay. I'm just checking out this ship because I think it's awesome. Okay. This is actually really cool. Is that a bed? Just floating there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to strap a bed somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and I see that the uh, floor plan thingy. Oh, okay. I'm. Okay. Where's your thrusters? Have you turned them off? Yes, I always have thrusters on. Uh, I always um, I use a set uh, kind of fixed toolbars, so thrusters are always key number one for me. It's the same with uh, it should be the same with uh, this miner as well. It's pretty smart. <laughs> well, um, I like to be lazy. Um, so I want it to be the same from uh, every time. So yeah, uh, it's like uh, it's like a, it's like a wee boat. That's what I like about it. Cool. Let's work our way over to this over here. Let's see, when you say over here, uh, Aha, the lock. Try and find me. I'm playing hide and seek. Um, where can I hide? Little baby. Okay. I'm by the small ship miner. <coughs> and I'm hiding. You're hiding. Okay. Right. Have fun. Can't find me. Uh. <laughs> Okay, I give up. <laughs> okay, right. There we go. Hello. <laughs> right, let's say uh, what we're now. Uh, we let's say uh, we can go to the other side of the station, where we have uh, yeah first the um, just a really simple um, large mining ship. Cool. Uh, and then. Uh, here we have a cargo transporter, I think, I captured. Oh, yeah. So, what's above it? The black one. Uh, well, the, the, swan? Uh, the black swan. Uh, yes, that's the swan, the, uh, the read on one. Um, and we can go in from the front here. This, this black swan is so beautiful, and especially the fact that you can come into the front and like set, set uh, the couches on the left and the right. It's actually really awesome. Yeah. So you rebuilt uh, this from the start? Like, you rebuilt this once you came into the world and it was all broken into pieces and... It was all broken, there was, uh, the whole front was broken off. Um... And the back was, uh, and there was, since it was an early, early game, there was barely any components. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of work, stuff to do. Um, do you know so who the, was, do you know who the guy who created this, who it was, or? Just a moment, I'll find him. I, let's see, Swan Song, uh, 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 um. It's called Swan Song Survival uh, Scenario, and it's by Amberlight. Cool. Well, what we can do is I'll uh, put a link into the subscript into the description of it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so uh, this is since this was uh, they said it was a luxury liner. Uh, I kind of wanted to not make it only industrial. Right. Uh, so I have this um, 
yeah, this couches hair, just to, uh, for a view. Oh, this is also one of the reasons I really love Space Engineers, just sitting in the couch and looking out the window. It's awesome. So, as we walk up here, this is obviously the, the bridge. Yeah, the, that's the bridge. Very simple and easy. Uh, and from there, um, I see that the, the floor plan script is kind of bored now, so I got, uh, you get the floor plan from the uh, station. Okay. It's pretty beautiful. Uh, Simple in its design, but it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So can you go down to the, all the, the cells? Oh, yes. You can't go down that way, it's uh, been blocked off. No, no, you have to go to, into the main, uh, the main uh, room here. Okay. So, uh, maybe... Hmm. Damage repairs, no damages. This is actually really well done. Warning, no oxygen, uh, oh. well, there's no oxygen whatsoever. No, uh, that's kind of strange. And this, yeah, here, um... Here's the brig. So you put the the captives in a place with no oxygen. Nice, I like it. So you don't no, have uh, captives long enough; they all die. Yeah, uh, there are oxygen uh, inside. There's an oxygen vent uh, inside, so it can it can be pressurized, but there's not no oxygen outside. Yeah, and I see that we can't see out. So uh, I like it. Yeah, and there's also a camera uh, on the um, uh, on the back of the room, so uh, you can monitor prisoners. Very well done. So and then back here, uh, production. I think there are four refineries inside this. This is just outside. Yes. Right. I like it. And then we can go over to the other nacelle, which is the boring one. Warning, no oxygen. Yeah, so there is just nothing here. It just goes to uh, an arc furnace, a refinery, uh, no, a couple of refineries and uh, a couple of reactors. Uh, and then you have a little kitchen area. I love how there's a kitchen mod in this. Yes. Then you have the crew area. <laughs> this is awesome. Location X, Y, and Z. Yeah, uh, that is uh, the automatic LCD script uh, telling, uh, saying where uh, where it is in the, in the world. And that should update automatically when it works. I don't know if it works in this world. Uh, when, so when you're moving, the um, um, numbers are changing. So we have the shower for the crew here. And then you have the observation room. Uh, kind of, I'm, uh, I kind of like it. Oh, this is awesome. Sweet. With an inspirational quote on the wall. Get back to work. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah. Let's see. And then I have, uh, yeah. A little working motto here on the door out for the crew. Is there any on this side as well? The same thing? Where are you now? On the other side. Kiwi! I was thinking we could check out uh, down here first. Alright, okay. I was just going to go that side. Is that the exact same on the left? No. This is the uh, control room. Yo. Main control room. With uh, the modded uh, cryopods. Or a modded cryopod. Actually. I've never seen that before. 
It's actually really nice. What way do you face? Why am I facing backwards? No, it's upside down. Uh, to get the uh, to get it um, uh, conveyed up or something, or uh, it might have been just me. Okay, no, it's facing backwards. Okay, uh, it it used to work, then Keen broke it. Oh, oh I was well. just gonna say that. Anyway, go back into it so I can uh, see that again. Yeah. See, that looks Ooh. really cool. Oh yeah. well. Uh, in that mod, there's also uh, two broken. Um, so portal. you could just fly straight at the very bottom. Oh no! There was supposed to be a nanite factory there. Ah, okay then. Okay, well uh, then, okay, that's. <laughs> but, uh, Okay. No nanites. No nanites on this ship now. Anyway, uh, here's uh, here is the um, say control panel and the bear uh, dispenser. Cool. You need your beer in space. It gets lonely. Yes. It's there. And these are Michael or the captain's porter. Cool. A little bad. Uh, Mr. Coffee. No space coffee, not the Mr. Coffee. Space coffee is always the best. You need, you need a cup of joe in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and here's the shower room. Or a, bath, a little bathroom. Uh, which is... Missing yeah, something here. It has some privacy issues. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, look. I'm sitting on the toilet. Shut the door. So, first of all, you yeah. can see me through the windows. And if you really wanted to... Oh, look. You can walk straight around the side. Yeah. Uh, since there aren't any co uh, compound blocks in the game, well, you have to make compromises a lot. Right. Anyway, yeah, so that's basically that. Just have the... Oh, hello. Oh, hiya. We're getting to be friends. Okay, press the button. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how long you'd notice. And then you have the... Outside, just. I'm a bit missed that the nanite is gone. is gone. Gone. That's. Oh. Uh, um, and then that's and that... now into the base. Well, first go to where I'm here. This is. Uh, to the yeah the back end here. This is the super secret hangar. Where are you? Oh, there you are. So the super secret hangar. Okay, nothing yep. here. Yep, super secret. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't access. That's how secret it is. You can't even get into it. No, uh, I'll open the door. Uh, Secret hangar doors, yes. Spelled secret with an I. Uh, and what's this? Is it a skate pod? Uh, that wow, that the... hurt. I got blown for miles. Ow! I died! This is exactly I... the same thing as what uh, Applied Griffiths uh, has in his ship. It's like magnetic doors. The minute you try to get into them, they fire you across space. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bug. Uh, what, okay, I'll show you that. Um, I'll show that ship. Uh, you can actually. Uh, let's see. It's not. Uh, we'll get over there. Small plank. It's on the. Oh yeah, that's the. That's it. Ow! Don't. Uh, I died again. So yeah, uh, I'm in. parent. I'm in. Yeah. Uh, take her out for a spin. Really? 
Me fly a ship. Fish are going on here. Ow. Oh, right. Yeah, you turn. I went too close to the. Um. Anyway. Oh. This is getting old. Stay away from those doors. Uh, but this is the problem. Then press two. Press two. That's an old. Yep. It's invisible. Yep. Five off. Six off. <gasps> this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and weapons. They track you after a while, but it takes quite some time. So you can you can get really close to the NPCs, for instance. Um, there's a problem. Okay. I can see myself floating in space. Well, I can't, uh, and that's kind of a bug. Uh, but let's see. I don't see where you are now. So uh, I saw your light for a while. I need this mod. Yeah. I need to I play think... games with Epic with this. Yeah. And there are both a small and a large ship version, so you can use that mod to turn uh, an entire base or battleship invisible. This is awesome! Oh, there you are. I can see your light. So if you t uh, take off your uh, spotlight... I've done yeah. the spotlight. Okay, because I saw a tiny mode of uh, uh, flying uh, past there. So uh, sometimes it shows the thruster lights as well, but basically it's so uh, it's so insanely cool. That's amazing, and it's too. There we are, uh, and it's called um, Rubella. Oh, I need this mod. This is awesome. Uh, I named it after uh, my girlfriend's uh, horse. One of them. I thought you were going to so, call your girlfriend a horse. No. <laughs> has two horses, and one of them is called Nubella, which is also uh, the original for that name is from Dune. Hey, this is where the funnel begin. <laughs> yep, original. <laughs> but there was nothing there. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'll just it. How much did you break? Um, right, I'm in. I'm uh, in the. I'm in the door. Yeah, there we are. Uh, this is uh, an apartment I built for my girlfriend. She is not. She is not playing this game, but I wanted to just, you know, RP reasons. Fair so I can. Uh, uh -huh. So, uh, see how she's got her own room? Does that mean you don't sleep beside her? That's a wee bit concerning. No, um, some uh, uh, sometimes she likes her privacy. Mm. And she's got her own ensuite, I like it. And what's over uh, here? Uh, that is uh, her uh, porch. Her porch. Yep. And since uh, she doesn't like the cold, I built her a fireplace. You've just painted blocks red. I don't really see that as a fire. Okay, that's a fireplace. <laughs> it's a fireplace. Um... It's a fireplace. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Some reason on the heat uh, made by a chemical thruster. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, this uh, is you producing a rat. That's it really good, mate. You'll sweep it off yeah. your feet <laughs> with, uh, the bla with the blast. With the blast, Oh man, it's hilarious. Has she, we enter has she seen this? Yes, she has. Um, yes, she has. My wife does, has no care whatsoever for any of the games I play. Uh, well, I talked to uh, my girlfriend about uh, about games and send her pictures, and yeah, we stay in touch. So uh, let's see here. Um, 
this is the of course the main uh, small room. Right. Uh, lots of I see that it seems like the uh, 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 the timers are off. Now you also have a voice activation on this as well throughout the base, but the mod's broken today. But every it's time not... you every time you come onto like this platform or through doors, it will say something, greet you or tell you goodbye. Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, just a meeting room where I have um, where people can argue and sit down and talk. I'm blue side. Uh, Shotgun. Well, I'm red one, so yeah. Uh, and oh, it's really bad that uh, talking isn't working now because uh, when you enter the sensor range, it say calm, and when you exit, it say relax, uh, as a tribute to the Dalek relaxation tape clip. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen that? The Dalek relaxation tape for humans? Never seen it. Okay, it's uh, it's a Dalek uh, instructing uh, instructing you on how to meditate. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that. That's awesome. It's so funny. What's that orange so, thing over there in space? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's hostile. We better sh we better explode it. Uh, let's see. And here behind the medical room is the commander's quarters, which would be mine or Kittens. whoever is playing. Commander Kittens. His name is Commander something. So. The map of the base. Uh, and I think you have. Let's see. I... No, okay. I was going to set up a lot of. Uh, there are a lot of cameras on the base, so um, I. You can. Uh, this is supposed to be the main uh, where the commander can just okay. spy on every. <laughs> just the you know get back to work, kind of yeah. uh, aspect of it. Yeah, and a bathroom area with a five meter high window because you need that. And oh, again, wow, the view. <laughs> the view from the bathroom is actually stunning. <laughs> oh, the view from the bathroom. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. See if you actually sit on the toilet. Can you see out? No. You just see the space. You can't actually see anything from the bog. That's a shame. Well, some privacy at least. What about in the shower? Hopefully, there oh. are. Less private bathroom downstairs. How less private? I'm sorry. That's just... Yeah, um, here I can see the nanite factories are actually missing from this uh, world now. Everybody's seen a nanite factory, so it's all good. Yeah, of course. So this is the uh, mess hall. A little kitchen mat. Uh, what are these pillars things? Reactors. Oh, very smart. Uh, uh, cold cat reactors by Inferi. Uh, because I'm using the ice to hydrogen reactor mod, uh, I love these reactors. They are so handy, and they look like a really good, um, really good pill interior pillar so as well. So they're actually uh, they uh, actually powering the base, and then we have the statue here. That statue is so cool. Where did uh -huh. you get that from? From the workshop. It's a statue. Uh, it's a fountain uh, mod, I think it's called. <laughs> Can you change the writing on the bit here? No, I don't think so. Sadly enough. So. And actually, it looks kind of cool with uh, with the uh, nano factories missing. I see. See, and then we have. So the nanite factories would just go in between it. Yeah, on the sides. Yeah. Wait, does that actually have uh, cargo containers underneath it, or did you put them there? 
No, no, yeah, uh, uh, the, uh, this is to the cargo area. Uh, and yeah, that but is I mean, on the... top of the fountain, does the fountain just sit there on top of the ground, or did you put the cargo containers underneath it? See these uh, ones over here, the red ones? The conveyors, I meant to say. Yeah, the con uh, yeah the conveyor uh, yeah uh, that is to the nanite system, so things aren't hooked up at the moment. Right, okay. That's so cool. Yeah, and I think they updated the fountain, so it's it actually works better now. Even you can even throw your pennies in there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Right, and then now. let's see. Go here to the medical room, which is nothing special. And now it also has no air. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the cryo, yeah, cryonics room here. Again with the. That's it. Yeah, upside down. Um, I love the the bubbles coming through it. That's so cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. Oops. So yeah. Um. I take it these are individual cargo containers for each of the people that come out. Yeah. And they also tie into the crew quarters here. Down the hole. There we go. Ah, good thinking. And then we can see up uh, to the main control room. All right. So the captain can always look down and see where his crew are at all times. And all the and all the people going into the conference room can just see uh, the crew. Yep. Then we come to the server room here. Just with lots of programmable blocks and timers. Cool. Uh, Toilets, all genders yeah. welcome. Yeah. This is quite open, isn't it? For all sex. It's almost like Starship Troopers. Yeah. Uh, and as you can see, uh, oh, uh, let's, oh, let's back. I'm sitting on the toilet, and I'm watching the uh, Unknown Strange Space Station. <laughs> I am the same. <laughs> so, a bit more open, as I said. I like it. I like doing my toilet in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. And then, on the other side, you have the showers and the lockers. Yeah, it's fine. It's open. If everybody can see you on the toilet, it doesn't matter about the shower. Uh, where then we can go down. There's really nothing interesting. Uh, just straight down. Uh, there's just it's just a cargo area. Okay. So, um, well, we can jump into. I can show you the production floor. Okay. Right. So, what's the script of these stairs? What's the... The story behind these oh. stairs. Well, I kind of needed space and I wanted um, I wanted uh, it to be easy to get from the large ship dock uh, and just straight up. Okay. Yeah, because I tried to... Let's see. Uh, here we have the processing and assembly area. Okay. I tried to mark things because it looks better. This is, uh, let's see, nothing is doing anything. And this is just a big hole. I was thinking of uh, if I should put the couch into the corner here, uh, just to have a place where the crew can um, hide and uh, take a cigarette or something and drink. As you should, yep, definitely. Get paid to have a break. Okay. Okay, right, uh, let's go up uh, to the space bar now, which is, I think, the only place we haven't visited, so yeah, the space bar. Mm. 
Actually, we have visited this before, but it was. Yeah. Oh, no, it was a different one, wasn't it? The, sh the Mars yeah, bar was the last one we've seen. The Mars bar was the last one. This is uh, my first one. So. How come you got two sets of windows? Yeah, safety first or something. <laughs> Fair play. Um, and here we have the bear dispenser and the spice dispenser. Because you need I don't spice. Know Pure spice. But, uh, yeah, uh, from uh, with the sandworm. So I love June, by the way. June was awesome. Mm -hmm. Not so that, that much. Is, why don't you have like an old spice? <laughs> yeah, they do because yeah reasons. That ones I love it. Uh, and you, let's see, uh, sound block. That is cool. Wait, how did you actually do that? I've never, I've always wanted to do it, but I've never done it. It's where you put the sounds through your blocks. Oh, uh, just place the sound block uh, and then uh, have a console, like uh, the one over here. It's just a console, with, uh, it's a button panel actually. It just looks okay. fancy. Uh, and then just uh, have a um, button to make it either start or stop. Cool. And you can put anything you in, anything you want in there. No, uh, no. there are a limited set of um, in-game sounds. Uh, so people, uh, there are lots of sound packs, um, where both soundtracks and for the um, sound block. Uh, but that uh, that uh, is all the mods, and it's. I, I've seen some guides to how to do it. Uh, and it shouldn't be that hard, but yeah. Yeah, because that would be awesome yeah. if you could add your own music and, and... Yes, very much so. Um, and also, and again, here we have just a lovely, lovely view. Oh, very beautiful. I love and it. If you, uh -huh. And if you stand here, you can see... Um, both the alien planet and the moon. Where's the moon? Oh, right above it. That's Mars. Uh -huh. Is it not? No, no, no. It's uh, it's uh, one. Of the alien planet in this game has two moons. And that is one of them. The one without spiders. Ah. And there's another moon with spiders as well. And where's that one? Well, Space Invaders, Mortal Kombat, and Pac-Man. Yeah, you can see these. Uh, these are being used in lots and lots of um, of Let's Plays and Machinima. Yeah, no, I noticed that. So, is that everything to this base then? Well, you have a cargo uh, storage area, which is unfinished. Okay. Storage area here. Oh, come on. I open one door. And there we go. Yeah. This is just a really straightforward storage area. Um, I started actually building the base from here. Basically, where I'm standing now. And this uh, oh. was supposed. Yeah. Uh, and I wanted to do <clears throat> something more inside here. But yeah. Um, I kind of built the rest of the base into that spread. Right. That so should much. be pretty cool, like a secret hideout. That was my thought to make a secret hideout. Um, so, yeah. Um, as I said, uh, since uh, this, uh, this is a bar, uh, it has a meeting room, everything, I thought that, well, it doesn't need to be that secret. Yeah. So, a secret hideout. Maybe once in uh, sometime in the future. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the Cosmic Show. Thank you for watching. I've had an awesome time exploring the exploring the base and everything else. 
I love your ships, and I love the black swan. This one, not the black swan. This one. Um, but yeah, thank you for totally letting me tour the base with you. I'll also be putting a link to all the, the all the mods in the description below, uh, so you can all have a look. And I definitely want to have a look at that invisibility cloak. That was awesome. <laughs> yep. Definitely. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment in below, that would help the Cosmic Show grow. Thank you very much, and as always, stay safe.